everybody welcome to another video today I am doing a short little vlog just documenting some of the things from the past week that I've been doing related to art and so here I'm prepping a few canvases just to have those ready to go um, when I prep these canvases have already been gessoed um, but I just use a little bit of burnt sienna uh, with uh, just mineral spirits to thin it out and uh, I just do a small wash to tone the canvas because you're not supposed to paint on a blank white canvas so here I'm varnishing some of the acrylic paintings that I did and you can see those in the video that I posted last week, but um, I'm just varnishing those up. And it's really satisfying because with this kind of varnish, I typically have to wait six months to a year for the painting to dry because it's for oil painting. Um, but it's really nice to work with acrylic because I don't have to wait that long for it to dry. And it's so nice to see the true colors of the painting come through. Those darks do not uh, appear as dark once the paint's dry, but once you varnish it, they just come back to life and it's, it's so pretty.
So here I'm cutting some new panels to use for my next oil studies. Um, I recently ran out of panels, so uh, what I like to do is just go to the hardware store and buy my own wood panels. I think it's two feet by four feet. I prefer to cut them to size myself. Um, it gives me a little bit more control over what sizes I get. Um, but there's also just something kind of nice about preparing your own um, painting surfaces. Um, I know some people like to, um, you know, stretch their own canvases and make them from scratch rather than buy one at the store, and it's kind of similar to that. Uh, so I like to cut my canvases myself. And then immediately afterwards, I just throw a thick layer of gesso on them and then they're ready to be painted on. And then to round out this week of painting, I did a little acrylic painting. Uh, for this one I was going for lots of pinks and browns and then I wanted to incorporate some gold and give it a really like faded cloudy look. So here I'm just applying some pink um, acrylic mixed with my acrylic gesso and I'm applying that onto the still um, wet gesso from where I primed the canvas so that it all just fades into itself and then I'm using my uh, worse for wear fluffy brush I should really get some new ones but um, I'm using my fluffy brush to just blend all of that out. And same thing here, I'm just adding a little bit of brown onto the still wet paint so that I can blend it in and give it kind of a dreamy cloud look. Next, I'm thinning out some white acrylic paint. I wanted to try to add some more drips into the painting, but I wanted them to be kind of like barely there. They were more transparent. Uh, so I thinned it out quite a bit um, and then just applied it in an old shampoo bottle that I had. Just using the pump on the shampoo bottle to apply the paint and I really like how it looks because it, it dries um, pretty transparent. And here I just added a little bit of a very light blue. It's kind of showing up white on camera, but um, it's a little bit of light blue to add kind of a complement to all of the warm 
um, the pinks and the browns. It's very warm, so I wanted something to kind of cool it down a bit. And next I'm adding some of my liquid gold leaf paint. I added a little bit too much and you're gonna see me go back to correct that, but um, I just, I really enjoyed uh, adding gold to my paintings. But here I'm just using a little piece of um, cellophane to kind of spread the gold paint out without leaving obvious brush strokes. I think this painting is a great example of me just letting go and throwing some paint onto the canvas and just doing whatever I feel like in the moment and the entire painting process took me maybe three hours ish and that's even with uh, letting the layers dry in between because it was just it was so much fun to do this painting and I really enjoy how it turned out um, and I hope you enjoyed how this vlog turned out I try to remind myself that there's more to uh, the art process than just painting itself and I have to remind myself constantly to uh, vlog even the boring stuff like the varnishing and the prepping of the canvases and things um, but I really hope you enjoyed watching my process um, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video